Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Everyday I'm Mothering and our 31 days of Halloween STEM activities. Today we are making lava lamps. To do this, you will need vegetable oil, some Alka-Seltzer, and you don't need that many, just a couple of the tablets, some food dye, and you'll want darker colors. The purple worked really well for us, but the green we had a hard time seeing. Then you'll want two bottles of water, about a quarter of the way full of water, and you want one to be hot and one to be cold, so you can see the difference temperature makes. And then a cutting board and a knife, so you can chop your tablets into quarter pieces. And then at the end, the girls actually played around with adding more at a time and powder to see what difference that would make. Lava lamp! <laughs> What's a lava lamp? The first step is to add your food coloring to your water. Do not forget this step and add oil first. We did that initially and I had to dump it out and start over. So make sure you add your water to your oil. And you can see here, once we add in the oil, it starts to blend a little with the green food dye. So that's why I would recommend doing purple or red, something that looks pretty different. I'm using purple and it's still to squirt in three drops. One, two, three. My food is really, really hot. My food is really, really hot. <laughs> sitting on the food coloring in water because water is denser so the oil just sits on it on those bubbles on purple and pinkish i hope it explodes it's dancing cool cool where is the bombs got coming up to the top and then sink down mine's going really fast and quick and making the little bubbles fall down like little bombs. Mine is going really slow, which makes it just look like tiny little specks. Mine was going faster, but Lena's still going. Mine's still going, but Adeline stopped. One, two, three. Wow, well, dances and makes those little things that come up, up, up. Cool, look at the little den it makes. Cool. Evil. So she just goes up big bubbles, that's why there's so many and big bubbles. Like a Alcacessor does not react with oil, but it does, so it has to go through the oil until it gets to the water. When it does get to the water, it, they form a carbon dioxide, which makes it go up, but it grabs water with it. When that bubble pops, the water comes down. On hot water, more quickly, move more quickly, but on cold water, they split out. Then they wanted to see what effect adding different pieces would have. So here, instead of adding a quarter, they added a half and then eventually a whole to see how much faster the reaction would be or how much larger. powder. I wonder if that would make a difference from the chunks. It took longer for it to get to the bottom, but eventually it did. Mike, I never even did it. The girls really enjoyed this activity and I like that they were able to make some hypotheses and change the experiment and see what other variables would affect it. And you can also reuse these lava lamps and continue to add the tablets. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and check out the rest of the playlist in this 31 days of Halloween STEM series. Bye everyone!